The Sultanate of Hobio, Somali, Saldanata Hobio, Arabic, Slauntant Hubi, also known as the Sultanate of Obia, was a 19th century Somali kingdom in present day northeastern and central Somalia and eastern Ethiopia. It was established in 1870s by Yusuf Ali Kenadid, cousin of the Majirtine Sultanate ruler Bokor Osman Mahamud, after overpowering the local Hawiya clans. Administration As with the Majirdin Sultanate, the Sultanate of Hobio exerted a strong centralized authority during its existence and possessed all of the organs and trappings of an integrated modern state, a functioning bureaucracy, a hereditary nobility, titled aristocrats, a state flag as well as a professional army. Both Sultanates also maintained written records of their activities, which still exist. History Topic. Rise of the Sultanate Initially, Ali Yusuf Kenadid's goal was to seize control of the neighboring Majirdin Sultanate, which was then ruled by his cousin Bokor Osman Mahamud. However, he was unsuccessful in this endeavor, and was eventually forced into exile in Yemen. A decade later, in the 1870s, Kenadid returned from the Arabian Peninsula with a band of Hadrami musketeers and a group of devoted lieutenants. With their assistance, he managed to overpower the local Hawiya clans and establish the Kingdom of Hobio in 1878. In late 1888, Sultan Kenadid entered into a treaty with the Italians, making his realm an Italian protectorate. His rival Bokor Osman would sign a similar agreement vis-à-vis -vis his own sultanate the following year. Both rulers had signed the protectorate treaties to advance their own expansionist objectives, with Kenadid looking to use Italy's support in his dispute with the Omani Sultan of Zanzibar over an area bordering Warshik, in addition to his ongoing power struggle over the Majirdin Sultanate with Bokor Osman. In signing the agreements, the rulers also hoped to exploit the rival objectives of the European imperial powers so as to more effectively assure the continued independence of their territories. The terms of each treaty specified that Italy was to steer clear of any interference in the Sultanate's respective administrations. In return for Italian arms and an annual subsidy, the Sultans conceded to a minimum of oversight and economic concessions. The Italians also agreed to dispatch a few ambassadors to promote both the Sultanates and their own interests. However, the relationship between Hobio and Italy soured when Sultan Kenadid refused the Italians' proposal to allow a British contingent of troops to disembark in his Sultanate so that they might then pursue their battle against the Somali religious and nationalist leader Muhammad Abdullah Hassan's dervish forces. Viewed as too much of a threat by the Italians, Sultan Kenadid was eventually exiled to Aden in Yemen and then to Eritrea, as was his son Ali Yusuf, the heir apparent to his throne. However, unlike the southern territories, the northern sultanates were not subject to direct rule due to the earlier treaties they had signed with the Italians. <laughs> Omar Samatar's rebellion Though victorious against the Sultan's forces, the populace had yet to accept Italian rule without a fight. Commissioner Trivolzio, assigned with administering Hobio, reported the movement of armed men towards the borders of the Sultanate before and after the annexation. As preparations were underway to continue the Corpo Zapta's advance into Majirtin, a new threat emerged. One of Sultan Ali Yusuf's commanders, Omar Samatar, attacked and captured El Burr on 9 November 1925. The local populace sided with Omar, and soon enough the Italians had a full-scale revolution on their hands after Omar followed up his previous success with the capture of El Dare. The Corpo Zaptie tried and failed to recapture El Burr from Omar. By 15 November the Italians had fled to Bud Bud, ambushed by partisans the whole way and rather diminished in forces and resolve. A third attempt was planned, but before it could be executed the commander of the operation, Lt. Col. Splendorelli, was ambushed and killed between Bud Bud and Beulah Bard. Italian morale hit rock bottom, and Hobio seemed a lost cause as Omar stood poised to reconquer Hobio itself. In an attempt to salvage the situation, Governor De Vecchi requested two battalions from Eritrea and assumed personal command. The rebellion soon spilled over the borders into the Benadir and western Somaliland, and Omar grew increasingly powerful. The disaster in Hobio shocked Italian policymakers in Rome. Blame soon fell on Governor De Vecchi, whose perceived incompetence was blamed for Omar's rise. 
Rome instructed de Vecchi that he was to receive the reinforcement from Eritrea, but that the commander of the Eritrean battalions was to assume the military command and de Vecchi was confined to Mogadishu and limited to an administrative role. The commander was to report directly to Rome, bypassing de Vecchi entirely. As the situation was extremely confused, de Vecchi took former Sultan Ali Yusuf with him to Mogadishu. Mussolini vowed to reconquer all of Hobio and move on to Majertan by any means necessary. Even reinstating Ali Yusuf was considered. However, the clans had already sided with Omar Samatar, so this was not as viable an option as it would appear. Before the reinforcements arrived, de Vecchi chose the age-old tactic of divide and rule, and offered great rewards, money and prestige to any clans who chose to support the Italians. Considering the Ian's old clan rivalries which have been the bane of Somali states from time immemorial, it is a wonder this strategy hadn't been attempted sooner, and turned out to be far more successful than the Eritrean regiments in reversing the rebellion. With the steam taken out of the rebellion, and the military forces heavily reinforced with the battalions from Eritrea, the Italians retook Elbur on December 26, 1925, and compelled Omar Samatar to retreat into western Somaliland. The Kumar Samatar Secondary School in central Galcasio is named after Omar Samatar in remembrance of his struggles and sacrifices. See also Yusuf Ali Kenadid Majirdin Sultanate Muhammad Ali Shire List of Sunni Muslim dynasties Notes Topic References Isa Salwi, Abdusalam M. 1996. The Collapse of the Somali State, The Impact of the Colonial Legacy. London, Han Associates. ISBN 1874209919X. Hess, Robert L. 1964. The Mad Mullah and Northern Somalia. The Journal of African History. 5 3, 415 33. doi 101017 Sheikh Abdi, Abdi Abdulkadir. Divine Madness, Muhammad Abdul Hassan. Zed Books. ISBN 0 86232 444 0. The Majirdin Sultanates Topic. External links The Majirdin Sultanates